In this day and age, most of us are very, very comfortable using computers. And one of the primary things we use computers for is communication. Typically, this is emails, texts, that sort of thing. One of the challenges, though, is that most of the people that we're interacting with on you know, your computers that are sending you communication, emails, that sort of thing, well, they're good people. They're what you call good actors. But there are bad actors out there. And that's a real technical term for someone who's really not a nice guy or lady, right? So it's helpful to just cover some of the basics about how you can protect yourself when you're using a computer. If essentially what it comes down to is applying a little bit of common sense, but that common sense, that's a really easy thing to throw around. It's common sense based on an understanding of the fundamentals of how computers work, which is why I just recommend that people get computer educated, get computer liter literate. So here's what you're looking for. That communication you receive, let's say it's an email. If it's real, you should be able to very clearly see that the person or group, the entity that sent it to you looks legitimate. So why do I bring this up? Because what you'll see you know, fairly often is someone who's a bad actor will send an email that the images and the text in it look spot on. Let's say it looks like it's from your bank. It all actually makes sense, right? They're using the right graphics, they're using the right language, and they're asking for some account data or something from you, right? But if you look closely and see who did that email come from, the email address, the from address for that email, which you can look at and just take your time, look at your screen, you'll find it, doesn't appear to be from the actual company, let's say in this case, the bank at all. It might be from, let's say it's US Bank, it might be from usbankmanager at gmail.com. I can guarantee you that a huge corporation like US Bank is not going to be using Gmail to send its official communication. But because we're also used to this you know, communication mechanism with computers, we rarely look at how the message or the communication arrived to us. We just look at the communication. Email pops open, we start reading it right away. If you're not paying attention and it looks official, you might accidentally give your information to someone you don't know. Another really important thing to look at in terms of like security, personal safety and security online or on the computer is this. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Now, I'm actually not a very cynical person in life. I'm just telling you though, I've worked in computers for decades now. And if you're finding that some offer or, you know, a reward or some sweepstakes or whatever that you get sounds amazing, well, your degree of excitement over what it could be should be equally matched by the responsibility you take in very closely investigating everything about that. Now, I know there are many of us who laugh when you hear the stories in the news about, you know, some little old lady or little old man who like had their life savings wiped out by the Nigerian prince scam because they got an email that some prince in Nigeria had $64 billion in oil profits and wanted to get rid of it. But these things do happen. I have very dear friends who are quite bright who've actually fallen for very sophisticated things like this. Another one, by the way, that's extremely common, just want to mention it because it's been going on for years and people still fall for it, is this. If something pops up on your computer that tells you that you need some sort of antivirus software or there's something wrong with your computer and they want you to call a phone number to handle it, it's not true, especially if they want to charge you any kind of money for the right software. It's not true. Windows computers and Apple computers are the most common out there by far in the world. Both of them have very robust, effective antivirus software that will protect your computer and it's regularly updated. They've handled that for you. Doesn't mean you don't need to be smart yourself but you don't need to go pay for something, especially if someone's hijacked your computer and made some little message appear on it. Please don't call them. Don't fall for this. If you're suspicious in any way, take a screenshot of the thing and, you know, source some words on it and Google the words you see on the screen. See, is this a scam? If there's a phone number they give you to call, Google that phone number. And if it's been used before in scams, it'll pop up just like that. So there you have it. Some general tips and tricks for keeping yourself safe while you use computers.